for the Quiche Indians of Guatemala, centuries of poverty have left a painful scar. Infectious disease, alcoholism, and the highest chronic malnutrition rate in the Western Hemisphere. Changing that cycle is a God-sized task, a task that North Carolina Baptist men and women have chosen to undertake with the help of volunteers, missionaries, and local workers from surrounding villages as they construct the Quiche Health Clinic and Training Center. The indigenous people, they live more on the rural areas. And the problem is that they don't have access even to good roads. Uh, they don't have access to any of the health care. The Quiche people are really a mountainous, almost refugee people. They become sort of sharecroppers on the side of a mountain growing corn and trying to live on that. They tend to have a lot of trouble with disease because of malnutrition. Uh, up to 80% of the rural Guatemalans are malnourished. We found we can really help them a lot with nutritional supplements, vitamins, and then instructing the parents how to care for their children. In an effort to meet the needs of the Quiche Indians, a facility is being constructed to provide medical care for the community. It will also be used to train community health evangelists and serve as housing for volunteers. The clinic will be a source of training for these community health evangelists that will be able to go out into the villages and do some basic sanitation and health education. So the center will be a tool to use to reach far-reaching areas. It'll also be a home base for our mobile medical clinics, which we'll be able to go out with the use of a vans and trucks and go up into the mountains and take our supplies and medications with them. I was amazed as I read the Gospel of Luke how many times you know, Jesus in his ministry first of all dealt with the physical need and then dealt with their spiritual need. And it, that was just so implanted in my mind that that's really what I'd like to see this clinic about. You know, and using Jesus as the model for how this would happen. Volunteer construction teams will be needed through the middle of 2014. For more information, visit baptistonmissions.org.